It was recently announced that Indianapolis is going to have, I think, three Tim Hortons locations in the next you know, year or two. So as the resident Canadian, I'm pretty excited about that. What's it like for you after competing in, say, a road race where your, your speeds are, are through the roof? Does it take you a while to kind of dial it back <laughs> down to normal urban driving? A lot of people ask that. If you know, you get out of the race car, you leave the track, is it hard to just drive on the road, you know, and obey speed limits and things like that? And the answer is no, it really isn't. You know, you're, uh, it, it's so different. You know, this environment is so different to the environment in the race car that you don't really associate the two at all. And so when you get into a road car, you know you've got to drive it like a road car. And when you get into a race car, you know you got to drive it like a race car. It's, uh, to be honest, the road actually terrifies me. I, would, I feel much more comfortable doing, you know, 300 kilometers an hour on a race track than I do doing 100 on the 401. Is that right? Is it? Is that because there's, you know, like uh, street cars in the way here and people aren't uh, yielding the way they're supposed to? Well, I mean, on the racetrack, I'm surrounded by professionals that have dedicated their entire lives to doing this one task, you know? And you're in a purpose-built car at a very safe facility. I'm wearing six seatbelts and a helmet and all these great things. On the road, there's all sorts of things that can jump out at you. There's, like you say, street cars, pedestrians. There could be some guy that lost his license a year ago for driving recklessly and he's still somehow is in a car. Are, you don't know who you're around, you know, so it's uh, it's a little bit more of an intimidating task. But on the circuit there, you, you know, sometimes you get drivers who get to, you know, a little, a little salty towards each other. How often does that happen? And uh, is that something that's a regular occurrence for you? I think anytime you're in a competitive situation, right, you get you get athletes, you get competitors, you know, in, in competition, that's going to happen. Tempers are, are going to rise and, and you're going to have moments where you're mad at a certain person for a certain thing. But one of the things you know i've worked really hard at especially when i was younger you know and coming up through the ranks we do a lot of mental work we work with a sports psychologist and things like that and uh, you need to be able to push that stuff aside really quick because if you start driving angry you start making mistakes and um I spent a lot of time practicing that on the road because a lot of situations come up on the road where uh, you know you do get the road rage and you want to scream or you want to flip a guy off or honk your horn or, or whatever. And uh, and it was actually a really it was really good training to uh, you know to just kind of teach yourself to compartmentalize that stuff, not let it interfere with your driving on the track. Because again, as soon as you're focused any of your attention or energy on being mad at someone or getting back at someone or something like that, you're, that's a little bit of your focus and attention that's not on driving fast and doing your job. And uh, in the series, as competitive as it is, you can't afford to not be absolutely on it at all times.